talk to you about pedicures. I've got three things that you need to look for when you're getting a pedicure, and this is true for a manicure as well. Um, the three things are, number one, uh, what kind of instruments are they using and how are they cleaned? Number two, uh, are they cleaning the, the tub that you're soaking your feet in and how are they doing that? And number three would be what kind of training does your nail technician have? So those are very important. Let me start with the first one, cleaning instrumentation. If someone is using a liquid sterilization technique, which is perfectly uh, fine and works in most circumstances, you have to leave that instrument in there for a certain amount of time, depending on the type of chemicals you're using, in order to kill the, the organisms, fungus, viruses, bacteria, whatever might be there. And frequently in these places that are real busy, they don't leave the instruments in there long enough to be sterilized. It's really best if they're using heat sterilization, which is the way uh, a hospital or doctor's office would clean their instrumentation. Uh, number two, if you're going to get your feet soaked in a little tub or in a whirlpool, you need to know how they're cleaning out that whirlpool and the pipes. There's pipeless chairs, there's pipe chairs, there's uh, foot baths that require them to dump the water. Um, lots of different ways you can get uh, a pedicure done or a whirlpool done with your feet uh, being soaked in liquid. It's really important that they're using the proper chemicals and the proper technique in cleaning that tub and cleaning where the water's uh, touching their, their tub and then touching your feet to make sure that that's cleaned appropriately. And then the third thing is your nail technician. What kind of training do they have as far as who are they cut, whose nails are they cutting? Are they cutting everybody that walks in, someone that has a big fungus toenail? Do they, do they even know what a fungus toenail looks like? Um, and they shouldn't be cutting someone who's not receiving treatment for uh, nail fungus if they have fungal toenails. And that can be very tricky and difficult to identify. So having a technician who's well trained in what to look for, whether it's athlete's foot or different skin disorders, different nail diseases, um, even a subtle infection, uh, somebody like that probably shouldn't be getting a pedicure, uh, but the technician may not know how to identify those different problems. So um, there's three things that really you need to ask your, your nail salon and make sure that you're getting a good, safe pedicure, and that can prevent um, future foot problems for you and infections for you, which can often, often be very difficult and costly to, to try to treat. So I hope that helps. And again, it's Dr. Newhouse at Newhouse Foot and Ankle.